I recently had a project building a structure in my backyard that required a lot of lumber. And the hardware store is pretty close to my place, so I could actually walk back and forth with whatever I needed to buy from there. However, I needed to be efficient. I needed to get as many pieces of wood in as short a time as possible. Ideally, what you want to do is use a truck, but as you can see, I am the kind of guy that does not own a truck and I did not have time to rent a truck on this day. So what is a sedan owner to do when you're faced with such a situation? This is what happened when I decided to use my Infiniti M45 for this task. And stick around, I also got to use my Q45. The story starts at Lowe's, loading your car as people look at you with shock on their faces. I got a gardening project. And so how do you carry 12 foot pieces of lumber in your car? I got seven of those, look at that. All the way in there. Gives you a little heart attack just knowing that I'm doing this, but yeah, seven of them, two by fours by 12 footers. I was able to make it work. And it's just a piece of paper, piece of plastic bag over there. Among other things, yeah made it work right okay i made it home in one piece so let's get ready to unload them still have a little bit of a view i'm still using my side mirrors though parking this in the backyard then i'm gonna pull the lumber through the gate that you can see back there I'm just gonna tell how far i am so i don't hit something Yeah, I guess I'm close enough. Right about there. Ooh, pretty close. Look at that. All right. All right, so I'm gonna end up pulling them out and toss them over the fence. Go get them over there. So let's figure out, see how low it looks? It looks kind of low in the rear, right? The thing is, I can't even remember. This is the front. This is the rear. That's how much gap you have. People who drop their cars and like their cars to look like that on a normal day. It's barely a finger. At least two, maybe three. All right, so let's unload it and we'll see what changes. Let's really get the work started. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too long before I found out that I had parked a little too close. So let me move the car forward and get to remove them a little more comfortably. This is what it was. Through there, right? Through the trunk pass through. And I set up a plastic bag over there, but this plastic piece was way down, all the way down. So let's pull this one out. Let's go assess the damage. All right, well. Right there, really. I don't know what the hell happened here. Doesn't look like it's related to the, the wood, though. So, here, that's safe. I did not puncture any seat backs. However, I'm gonna see this. <laughs> see this part over here? This rubber trim. I kinda took a beating. I saw a little piece fly out. <laughs> wherever it is but yeah that's the only part that really took a beating so it is possible just is it bad i don't know how bad it really is because see that's still sealed and it's something i can live with i can ignore that right yeah i know it helps with the yeah it's so small to make a difference i'm not really too worried about that honestly so yeah that's all that's all i had to sacrifice for not buying a buying a truck or not renting a truck however you want to look at it but it's July 4th and the store was about to close and I needed to get uh, those pieces of lumber here ASAP so let's put this back uh, this car needs a detail I'm gonna 
we'll leave that down for now. Love this in here. It's got a job, obviously. I'm curious as to how. Well, went up a little bit. I don't know. I'm gonna look at it again, basically. This side is on that was. Yeah, it's now got two finger, two finger allowance. What I'm gonna do is put the camera back where it was. And I kept working till I was done. So how did it do? Well, this door is open. Is it almost 90 degrees? 80, 85, really wide though. As I said, the only thing that scared me was this. But yeah, it's got quite a lot of flex, so don't you worry. Use your car like like it's a vehicle. I do treat my cars nicely, but you know. There you go. Perfect. The job has been successful. The M45 wins again. The next day, I needed pieces that were even longer, 16 feet to be exact. And guess what? I used the same car to do the job. Look. It turned out just fine, right? Today I did it to another level. And see what happens is I'm stopped, start driving. Trunk open light comes on. Whatever that speed was, 10. Then when I stop enough, it goes away. Anyway, that's a goal. Today I did it even bigger. I have 16 foot boards inside here, so very crazy can you see how far the camera is showing it to be all right let's do this and in a bit I'm gonna show you exactly what I did of course I have to remember longer boards need even longer much more space so this is how far I'm gonna to stop today can't really see much there See how much is poking out. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, but yeah, the car is capable. You can see the car can do it. It's shown that it will haul whatever you throw at it. it doesn't look like it's squatted too much today. It's only six, no, four boards. And a few of the small pieces in there. Yeah, I was able to get it to work. Pretty cool. All right, let's take it all out and send it to the back. And again, I had to use the M45 one more time. Check it out. This time, the trunk open warning is not gonna come on. Why? Because the trunk is full of clothes. Look at that. Everything's in. You'll get to see how I made it work this time. If I don't get the tree. It's a little trippy <laughs> using the camera, the backup screen, and the rear view mirror, and also looking outside. I was like, what the hell am I doing? But yeah, we should be fine this time. Uh, serious tracks on this lawn. All right, so what did we do this time? Park it, very important. So this time the trunk is fully closed. There you go. These are the seven footers. So I was able to fit them all in there. I needed, well, seven or eight. I decided to go with seven because the garden, I mean, I'm only six two, so seven is gonna be pretty plenty for that. So I bought 10 piece boards and cut them. So we have sevens and we have threes in here. So that's it right so it's a pretty capable vehicle and what I did this time is I knew I could uh, comfortably fit six inside the pass-through so I have six in there one two three four five six and I had two others and what I did with those was come in here and stick them through into the passenger footwell 
and everything went well. Just drive slowly, moderate speed, no sudden movements, and you should be safe. All right, that's it for now. I'm out. Bye. For one of my final runs, I decided to use the Q45. Look at this. Still on the lumber projects, and I decided to use this other car, O3 Q45, for comparison. Check it out. Uh, a little bit of squat. I have a little bit of lumber in here, not that much. And of course, I think I noticed that my car's got a, a little bit of an even squat and dip in the back. Anyway, so this is what we have in there. All right, it's eight pieces of wood, two by fours. To four of them are seven foot long, the other four are eight foot long. And so yeah, I was able to close the trunk, but that's because of this. Right here. These guys don't have a pass through trunk because the fuel tank is right there. So you cannot pass through. I feel like you could make it a little differently, but that's just me. What do I know, right? Anyway, so obviously I wasn't able to use the trunk for anything. However, what it did was put all the lumber through this way <laughs> into the front passenger wheel well. I mean, it's nice that climate control off. Awesome, so it's not wasting energy. But what it entailed though, was moving everything around. So this was a really comfortable car for, for the year and all that. However, you see the lumber moving as I do that? <laughs> uh oh, oh, wrong one. There you go, that's what I'm doing. Forward and out of the way. <clears throat> so this is what it entailed doing. Sacrificing a little bit of comfort and I don't know about the hinges in the center console. But yeah, it's able to do the job just as well. Just if you've got anything longer than eight and eight foot, so you can't carry it in this car. Um, anyway, as I've always said, the Y50, that is a 2006 and up, it's a very well thought out car. Uh, it might not be as comfortable as spacious, but boy, you can do a lot with the space in that car. And I'm doing all that without even moving my seats at all in the other car, right? I was able to carry seven foot pieces. Mm, yes, yes, I was able to do that. Some of them came through the middle, but the ones that came in through the side, I did not move any of my seats at all. I'll have to look at the video again, but yeah, there you go. Just an FYI, if you want to use your vehicles as vehicles as, you know, to carry loads, you might want to stick to the 2006 and up. <laughs> so what's the damage? Uh, not too much, really. I hope I set my seat. Oh, great. Forgot to do it, to move it manually. This is not the worst thing in the world, but you know. All right, so here, oh great, it doesn't even. Alright, so, I haven't really lost much, honestly. No damage, no visible damage. I see a little dent over here. Guess one corner of the planks of wood or pieces of wood. My armrest is still as firm as it was, or as loose as it was, no change there. Yeah, no difference, really. No loss over here. So, we're gonna the AC back on. Sheesh. It's cold. Or rather it was hot. And pull away. Alright, there we go. Good deal. It was a successful trip, but I don't think I'll be making many similar trips with this car. You know, just realized my next project is going to have to be 
building a garage. It's probably need help pouring concrete and whatnot, but yeah, this level, I can't do this. The whole driveway deal and working, you know, having to share two car, a two car garage between seven cars, three of which need work done to them or, you know, are always mid project. It's a lot to ask of, of the space, right? So yeah, that's maybe what I'll end up doing. Just gotta make sure I'm not hogging too much space. I am actually, I can tell. So I wanna move and be a little closer to the edge over there. When I stop. I was trying to remember how it was up here, but couldn't really tell. There you go, this is some of the perils or the merits of having to having a garage that you can't use at least mine has cars not just Christmas trees and kids bikes and storage right at least there's that something to look forward to anyway cool I'm gonna set this down and keep moving keep trucking